the New Westland. Today's topic is one that many of us don't like to discuss. Uh, some refuse to discuss, and others just simply shy away from. Today's topic is abortion. Now this topic uh, bothers so many, and it should, uh, both on the pro-choice and pro-life side. Uh, this topic is, is something that uh, bothers us, and, and we just simply would rather not have this discussion. But I've seen so much in the news lately that I felt it was necessary to make a short video uh, that talks about this subject. Uh, progressives in the Christian faith uh, push the narrative that we often see from the liberal left uh, that a woman's choice is paramount. She should choose what happens with her body. Uh, what they don't ever mention is that the baby she is carrying gets no choice in this matter. It's all about her choice not the baby's choice. Now, babies can be murdered up to 22 weeks gestation in this country. I want to show you a picture of baby Riley. Baby Riley was born at 22 weeks gestation. And as you can see, baby Riley is a baby. Baby Riley is fully formed uh, still has obviously some growing to, to go, but she is alive and medical professionals are able to care for her. Now, progressives like to push the narrative that a baby like Riley is just a fetus, not a baby at all. But as you can see, Riley is a human child a child of God, whose life is valued and whose life must be insured. Now it's easy to, to sit back and, and think that uh, every baby in the womb is just a, a mass, a blob of flesh, uh, some fetus. Um, and we see a lot of people refer to babies all the way up to delivery as fetuses. And here's what's interesting. I want you to go Google some of the celebrities that we uh, often uh, turn to, if you will, and trust and, and we believe what they say and, and we follow them because they're celebrities. But there are a lot of celebrities uh, who are pro-choice and who refer to babies as fetuses. But what's very odd about them, if you'll go find some of the, the videos and news clips of them, when they become pregnant with a the child they want to carry full term, uh, that child is no longer a fetus. It's a baby to them. And it's an important life to them. So what's the difference? When they don't want the baby, it's a fetus. When they want the baby, all of a sudden it's a baby again. So here I want to show you a picture of baby Riley as she prepared to go home from the hospital. As you can see, baby Riley, who was born at 22 weeks gestation, is alive and well. She's doing good. She's going home. She still has some health issues to deal with that, that I'm sure she'll overcome. But she's alive and well and a child of God. Jeremiah 1.5 says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. I knew you. This is God talking here. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Now, God clearly, clearly, as we all know, loves 
every child, every baby, and every person. He formed us all, and He knew us all before we were born. Genesis 9, 6 says, Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. For God made man in his own image. God made us in his image. He intended for us to be born, and for us to grow, for us to populate the earth. He intended for us to serve a purpose. And that purpose is not, not achieved if we murder the unborn. The last Bible verse I want to read to you is Exodus 20.13. It simply says, You shall not murder. And folks, if you think abortion is anything other than murder, you might want to go online and do a little research. Find out how it is that abortions are performed and what they entail. Uh, partial birth abortion. Folks, if you go online and learn what that truly means, uh, and, and what it means briefly is that uh, as the baby's head exits the birth canal, a doctor can take a pair of surgical scissors and clip that baby's spinal cord ending its life before it is fully, fully birthed. That is partial birth abortion. That is a child that was alive when its head exited the canal, but a doctor took scissors and snipped its spinal cord, ending its life, severing its spinal cord and severing its opportunity to live. If you have any questions about abortion, you can Google many of them, and you can also fill out the form uh, below this video on our website, or click on the link uh, below the video on YouTube, and we'll be happy to get back to you with uh, answers to any questions you may have. But being pro-life isn't being against women at all. It's being for everyone. Because not only does a woman's life matter, but that unborn child's life matters as well.